Hey guys, it's R, and today I will be showing you three quick tricks to impress your friends in Minecraft. The first one is a simple one called the MLG Water. It allows us to fall from tall heights and survive theoretically any distance. So uh, let me momentarily explain. So if you fall in any water block, all of your fall damage will be negated. Now water is not the only thing that can do this, but first let, let's talk about fall damage. So for every uh, up to three blocks, you take no fall damage, as you can see right there. But now if we fall three plus four blocks, we will take a half a heart of damage for every additional block we fall. So it'll take us two hearts, as you can see. Now there are other blocks that can uh, just reduce our fall damage, like hay bales. You see we hardly took anything there, or honey blocks. And then any of these blocks you see here can be used to totally negate your fall damage, including cobweb, although <laughs> It has the downside that we're experiencing right now. All right, now next I'm going to show you how to quickly make a nether portal with nothing but a single water bucket and a pool of lava. Now this trick is very useful if you're trying to do like a, a speed run in Minecraft or something. Uh, what you want is four blocks in a row of lava. And so one, two, and so you place a block right here, and then you place your water bucket. Not like that. You place your water bucket on the side of this block that you're uh, on right here it'll convert these blocks to obsidian. And then you break that block, you get more obsidian. And now uh, you break this block, pick up some lava, drop it down there. And now this is the part that just takes a little memorization. Just behind this uh, sideways bit, you go one, two, three, and then one inwards. Then you pick up your water, stick it on the joint of the L. And you don't let that happen. Okay, so I lied. Don't do that. You'll lose so much of your lava, and depending on the size of your lava pool, you may lose all of it. And that's very bad because you need a lot of lava to make this portal. So, uh, what I did fix it is I mined a few blocks behind it, and then I placed my water right here on the joint, and now the water will not flow all over the lava. Sometimes water can be a little unpredictable, but it takes time to get a hang out of it. So now we can just place the lava one block at a time in this, uh, along this little frame we've made. So uh, nether portals need to be three blocks tall and two blocks wide, but ours is set one block into the ground because of the little trick we used with the water uh, and the extra block. So we can uh, just skip that part. Now for this next piece, uh, we place two blocks down. Okay, now we're almost done. One, and then two. We retrieve our water, and then uh, once it drains, then we can just light the portal.
Oh, look, I suddenly have a, a flint and steel in my hand that wasn't there before. Ta-da! Now we have another portal, and we can go explore the brand new 1.16 nether. Very exciting, I know. Excellent spawn location. All right, now, the last thing that I'm going to show you is probably the thing that I am worst at in this video, but uh, all of these tricks, they take practice. Uh, and by the way, the nether portal thing, I learned it from watching Dream's videos. He is a uh, very popular, uh, very good Minecraft speedrunner. So you can look him up if uh, you want to know where that came from. And the next one is speed bridging. So uh, the objective is to carry ourselves across some big crevice or whatever and travel quickly. Perhaps we're being pursued or something. Perhaps we're playing on a PvP server. But to understand speed bridging, first you must understand slow bridging. This is slow bridging. It is very slow uh, to just sneak backwards. It's, uh, even though it is the safest because you know you won't fall off the block, but we can do better than this. So uh, you can increase your sneaking speed by not going straight in one direction, but going diagonally backwards because Minecraft has a silly little thing that it does when sneaking, but not when normal walking or sprinting. And that is that it uses vector addition to calculate your uh, distance traveled. So if you remember Pythagorean's theorem, you can figure that out and know that going diagonally is the square root of two times faster than just going straight backwards. So we can go a bit faster by sneaking diagonally and doing this. And so that's a big improvement. But finally, uh, we can just do away with sneaking altogether. And this is where it gets really tricky and takes lots of practice. If you just, uh, uns if you, as you approach the edge of the block, you sneak, but then you place it, unsneak, then sneak again at the last moment and keep placing. But I am very bad at that. So <laughs> uh, you can practice and do as I say, but not as I do. So uh, that's it. Thank you, everybody. But uh, now for the purpose of this video, the tradition that has been maintained for years on my channel. We are all here on July 10th to celebrate Nikola Tesla's birthday. Yes, that, it is that day of the year once more where we can honor the, the glorious scientist and his glorious inventions. All right, thank you everyone. Have a wonderful day and a wonderful year. I'll see you next year.